morning for our Summer Stars Arts and Entertainment episode, we have a special treat. We're actually going to show you a live painting being done all morning long. We've brought in artist Elle Feigley and her canvas and her paint, her, her whole medium here. And you're going to paint a little something for us live. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. This is like my forte. I love the energy of this place, and I'm excited to see Good. what comes out under these circumstances. We are, too. Now, uh, in terms of art, do you have a specialty, or is, is it landscapes that you like to focus on? Is it portraits? What do you specialize in? I really love it all. Like, whatever mm -hmm. turns me on is kind of what I'm creating, so I never pre-plan. I don't do commission pieces. Mm -hmm. I'm known for abstracts, landscapes, seascapes, figurative pieces, and live painting has been my forte. I've been fortunate to paint a lot of celebrities as of late. Taylor Swift Saturday Night, which is oh really my. exciting, and Joe Pair of Aerosmith, Johnny Depp. So I've been kind of, of traveling games. around doing a lot of fun live painting in the moment. So um, you're going to start for us in just a second or two. and. Why painting? What led you to this path? You could have done sculpture. You could have, you know, sketch. I do love all of those things as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, my whole life I've always, you know, sketched, painted, done any type of art I could get my hands on, really mm -hmm. for my own self-therapy. I really found it as a sense of escape for me. Yeah. And now I feel like it saves me from dysfunction. It's like keeps me living a normal lifestyle. It's a healthy addiction for me. Nice. We, we like that. <laughs> and, and we're excited to have you um, put you. paint to canvas here. I, I notice it's acrylic. Yes. that you use, yes, as opposed to oil-based or watercolors. I do love oil as well, mm -hmm. but with the amount that I'm creating these days, acrylic does dry faster, so especially in like a yeah. live painting setting, it will dry before I leave today, hopefully. Okay, well, why don't you jump right in right, and get I'm to excited. it? Do you have a vision in mind? I have no vision except I'm channeling the ocean state, so I brought a lot of my ah. blue palette today, which... I'm very comfortable with and I enjoy creating because I live here. Okay, so why don't you start and kind of talk me through right, what, what cool. you do initially to maybe right. just kind of well, in the Pull instance of time, I um, I want this to be a beautiful piece by the time I'm done, so mm -hmm. I often paint with my hands. Uh, okay, that caught me off guard and, for a moment. Uh, I did paint my sides with my hands before we started mm -hmm. in the green room, just so that when this is done, we can hold it up and it will look awesome. Why uh, do you choose to use your hands as opposed to a brush? It's a great question. I, I love sensory, like, you know, yeah. I'm in fashion too, so I love texture and I, I love getting dirty and messy, but uh -huh. From a practical standpoint, this is the fastest way that I can get the paint to absorb in all the pores of the canvas. So when I'm working on live painting pieces anywhere, it's a quick way for me to get a base if people really want to see the start to finish. Like I wow. could have done this last night and prepped the canvas yeah. for you. No, no, I want to see it but live. Yeah, that this way, is great. That way people really get to see like what the wow factor, the shock and awe of it being done during mm -hmm. the time period. Well, but we this... have the rest of the hour to see what Elle creates. <laughs> She's going to get messy and dirty and get in there, and I'm sure it's going to come out beautiful. So stick around for that. Yeah, Brennan. See you soon. Kayla, back outside here with artist Elle Feely. I don't want to disturb her. Look at her. She's like a mad genius hard at work back here. That looks like a, quite the cardio workout you have going on. It is. It's one of my only workouts. It's been running. This is going to be spectacular. I am, uh, as I've said many times right here on the road show, endlessly fascinated by art and what people are able to create from essentially nothing. So for you, is there a thought process right now? I know Michaela chatted with you earlier, but where do we stand and what are you thinking? No thought process. Just smelling the bacon. We'll see where this one goes, you know? <laughs> Why do I think you're going to end up with a, a, a lovely painting of bacon right here on the canvas? I don't think this one will be bacon, but it may be on the boat, you know, or yeah. uh, on the sea, or I think we'll be channeling the ocean state since I'm on the road show, and either, I love living here, so. E either way, this painting will sizzle, right? It's going to be sizzling hot, yes. Is this cathartic for you? I'd imagine there's an added layer. I mean, certainly it's fun. Being on TV adds something to anything, but overall, just doing art creating, does it just give you a sense of relaxation? Oh, totally. This is my total therapy it's like time stands still for me it's why I wake up you know in the morning it's yeah. why I don't go to sleep at night and uh, fortunately I'm able to paint about two to 14 hours a day and that's great yeah I love the energy of the moment and the people and things and I like people watching me it's fun I like people to enjoy art from a community standpoint so. I love just immersing myself in art I love checking out new museums whenever I'm traveling or something like that it's always so much fun because I always like to put myself in the artist's shoes when I see a finished product how does he know that it's done you know why does he put these strokes up here
here and not down here? Why is it symmetrical versus asymmetrical? There are so many facets of it, aren't there? Totally. That's the hardest thing for me is just to decide when I'm actually done. Right. As an artist, it's a really difficult decision. Like, you'll see me going in and out and kind of dancing into the canvas today. Like, do I want to add a line there? Am I done? Do I want to add this color? And sometimes the painting evolves. You know, it takes on a life of its own, which sure. is exciting. So. And we're going to need to wash those hands by the end. Look at this. By the, look what's going on right there. Is that not the, uh, the, the are those not the hands of someone who's working hard? I'll do this instead to thank you for being here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> well, we're going to check in with Elle Feely throughout the show. She's doing amazing work. It's going to be fantastic. Well, take a look at how beautiful that's coming together. Artist Elle Feely has been painting with us all morning long. Elle, that looks beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm cruising. I hope you've had fun with us today. We've really enjoyed watching you put, thank watching you. you work. Thank you for having me. This, this is going to look, yeah, gonna look great nice. above my fireplace at home. It sure will. <laughs> <laughs> Into that Look who found the spoon that. for me. Thank you. you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you dive into that. I was putting Maybe a couple we'll trade for the bacon. Crushes. Oh, <laughs> battle for the bacon. Watch out for that.